Okay, let's do this. Hello everyone, this is Pixel, and I'm here to talk about something that not a lot of GTA players talk about or explore, and that's going to be the car bombs. I did this video earlier, messed up, and now I'm going to redo it, so this will be my second time doing this, third time exploring with it, just to make sure that I got everything right. So, I'm going to let you know what, what you should know before you get the car bomb is that first, you cannot mod the car in any way, whether that be paint color or engine upgrades or anything, you cannot mod it in any way after you get the bombs, because for a very simple reason, it's not meant to be long term, it's meant to be short term. So, a prank or just an hour, if that, then you're going to install it just for that long, and then it's going to be used, and then that leads me to my next thing. Whenever it is used, I believe, uh, for, the, for both the ignition bomb and the remote bomb, I know for the remote bomb that you have to pay the full price, so I'm going with the so I'm going with the same with the ignition bomb. You have to pay the full price on Moore's Mutual, so you will get the car back whenever the bomb gets used. You will, you will call Moore's Mutual, pay the full price of the car, and then you can get it back just like that. You call your mechanic, and it gets delivered, or you could go to Moore's Mutual or your ap apartment, house, whatever you live in, skyscraper, whatever. You could go you could go get that. And then that leads me to my next one, is that the bomb will not be installed anymore, because like I said, it's meant to be short-term. So then after the bomb blows up, you call it again, you get the car back, you will be able to mod the car because the bomb will not be there. The ignition bomb, now I'm going to go into how the ignition bomb works, is that you buy it, then it gets installed into your car, and you can drive the car around no matter, no matter what, you can drive it for no matter how long, there's not a timer on it, it's just best if it's you know, short-term use only, because then you can't upgrade the, or do anything with the car. And that leads me to another one, is that if anyone in the car, anyone else besides you gets in the car, whether that be crew, friends, or just random strangers that you're letting drive, as soon as they start the car, the car will blow up, simple as that. And then you pay, call it, it's there, you can mod it again. And now that leads me to the remote bomb, is that whenever you get it installed, and I'm going to show you here, See, watch, it's about to kick me out of the customs because you cannot mod the vehicle anymore after you get a bomb installed. No matter what bomb it is, you can't mod it anymore. With the remote bomb, it adds a contact. The innate bomb, the new contact, is very simple. Anyone can get in your car. You can drive your car no matter how long you want. Someone else can drive your car as long as you have the settings like that. I have my settings to passengers. So even if they're in the passenger seat, you could blow it up, it doesn't matter. But with the ignition bomb, they have to be in the driver's seat and they have to start the car. The remote bomb is that you simply call the number, detonate bomb. There it goes. You have to wait a few seconds for it to, for it to cut and then it blows up. Your personal vehicle has been destroyed, you can call Moore's Mutual Insurance to make the claim. What I'm going to do instead of calling them is not, not you. I'm going to call... Lester, because you will get cops because you just blew something up, and that and that's why you have to pay well, the full price because you, you are How can I... so you don't want to get technically trouble, blowing huh? something up. Okay, leave it with me. So then, just like it said, and just like I said, after your car blows up, you can call Morse Mutual. Morse Mutual, we're here. To there help. it is. I just paid the full price since I, I technically blew it up. So then it gets the car back. You can either go to the depot or you could go what I did whenever I first tested it. As I went to my house, I drove out another car, then drove back in and my car was there. Or you could just simply call your mechanic and it'll be there in whatever garage you left what you it need, in. Boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. It's coming at you. And then give it a few seconds. Babe. Don't care. Give it a few seconds and then my car will spawn somewhere on the street. Uh, there it is. And as you're about to see, I can just simply get in my car and drive it around. The contact is gone now. There is no detonate bomb since the bomb has been removed. And since the bomb has been removed, I can now mod my vehicle again. And if I so What's wish, you can get the bomb again. But there also is something that the game even tells you is that whenever you get the remote bomb installed, I'm not sure about the ignition bomb, then you, then you cannot get another remote bomb on any other car for the actually yeah for the obvious reason is that whenever you call the detonate bomb it won't know which car to detonate that and since you could only have one car out at a time then then that's all you could only have one car out so it would make sense for you to only be able to have it on one car that you want that's really all it's just a simple explanation maybe five minutes or so i hope i didn't mess up this time and have to redo it because that'll be like 30 grand i'm wa i've already wasted on this but yeah, I, 
that's all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, then leave a comment, maybe like. Up to you completely. But that's all it is, really. It's just a simple explanation on everything that you need to know or should know about the car bombs. And for some reason, no one has has tested with it. And so I decided to take... Just just, just, just to do it, for, for general knowledge, I guess. So now I could drive the car around. No bomb, no nothing. So that's all. Just know that you cannot mod the vehicle. You will have to pay the full price. And you'll be, you will still be able to get the vehicle back. That's all. Hope you had a good time. And I will see you later.